Hey guys, what is up? It is Nixium here, and welcome back to another exciting, exciting video. Today, I'm going to be doing something that I've seen a few people doing, including my buddy WoW Krendor. People have been doing this whole, their five favorite WoW expansions sort of video, and everybody's throwing their two cents out into the hat, and I want to throw my two cents in there because I think it's interesting to see the different perspectives of all these different content creators and what they enjoyed uh, in these expansions and what they remember and which one is the most special to them. So let me count down my top five WoW expansions and let's just get started, shall we? Number five, Cataclysm. So my fifth place is going to go to Cataclysm. Now, let me just say something about Cataclysm before we get started. I think that the theme of Cataclysm was pretty damn cool. Some people might not like it, but I liked it. The world is ending. There are these evil cultists running around everywhere that need to be stopped. They're infiltrating all these cities and places. There's old gods, this giant evil frickin' dragon flying around, lighting people on fire. Everything is turning to ash. And I think it was pretty cool. This whole like doomsday kind of wow expansion right after Wrath of the Lich King. Along with all that, you also had the introduction of the Worgen and the Goblins to the Horde and the Alliance. And let me just say something. In my opinion, in my opinion, I think Gilmaeus is probably one of the best starting zone experiences that Blizzard has ever done. And Gilmaeus, even to this day, is one of my favorite zones in World of Warcraft because there's like no NPCs there and it's always raining. Cataclysm also revamped the entire world, which it was really awesome. I, I have to admit, it was great when it first happened, but God damn it. Uh, come on, guys. Like, you know, Nixium is a night elf. I am a night elf at heart, and I just want my old Ashen Veil back. I hate that volcano, Blizzard. Get rid of it. Get rid of the volcano. Now, despite revamping the old world and stuff, Cataclysm isn't remembered too fondly by a lot of people because Cataclysm is to a lot of people when Blizzard really changed their philosophy going forward in World of Warcraft. But overall, I mean, the theme was good. I liked it. It's definitely not the worst expansion to me. And if I had to give Cataclysm one big compliment, it definitely made the world and everything feel fresh for a while. Fresh and new. And I liked that. Number four, Mists of Pandaria. Now, let me be perfectly clear. In the beginning, pretty much everybody did not take Mists of Pandaria seriously. Everyone was like, LOL, pandas, ha ha ha, blizzard, what have you become? You're going from giant dragons and old gods to pandas. Now, this expansion's theme, I admit, is my least favorite out of all the ones that Blizzard has done. Same with the lore. I wasn't too interested in the lore, but it did grow on me in some ways. Uh, just understand, I I've never really been a big fan of the whole Mystic East thing. The Sakura Blossoms, the the dude meditating on the mountaintop and blah, blah, blah. It's not really my thing. It's not really what I'm into. So Mist of Pandaria is something that I personally was like, uh, but it did kind of grow on me. I, I do admit it did grow on me in some ways. The dungeons I thought were pretty fun. The raids were interesting and they were diverse. You know, one second you're fighting in Pandaria against a freaking thunder god guy. And the next you're killing Garrosh Hellscream, who, who didn't do anything wrong, by the way. Let's just Let's just throw that in there. But seriously, the story of Garrosh Hellscream throughout this expansion, I, I did find to be interesting. That was really the only bit of lore where I was like, oh, this is this is really cool. I like this. Mists of Pandaria also had a lot of content in it. A lot of people don't give Mists credit for this, but I felt like Mists just had so much content. I think my most fond memory from Mists of Pandaria would have to be raising my Cloud Serpent mount and then it hatching out of its egg and me, you know, taking care of it and then me getting it as a mount. I thought that was really freaking cool and a really creative idea that Blizzard did for how to do daily quests with a little faction. I thought that was great. Honestly, if Mists of Pandaria had a different theme that I personally would have been more into, I think it would have been like really far up on the list. It was a really good expansion, but it's just the theme holds it back for me. Number three, Legion. Pretty much all my memories of World of Warcraft Legion are just to me leveling up with my Twitch audience, doing dungeons with you guys, the viewers, doing raids with you guys and helping, you know, get people gear in the raids, 
grinding AP while talking to you guys and having a good time. And it, it made a very sort of bizarre expansion experience because this isn't it wasn't like that back in warlords of draenor but in terms of the expansion itself and what it brought to the table you had the introduction of the demon hunter class which is something i've been waiting for for a long time it's something that i've talked about in previous videos on this channel and you know who you are you would leave those comments and you'd be like ah oh, nixium you're so stupid they're never gonna put a demon hunter class in because a demon hunter is just a a rogue and like a warlock or like a rogue with some warlock abilities they're never gonna do it they're never gonna do it now i'm saying the exact same thing about the necromancer i liked the whole fighting the burning legion theme it had a really kind of dark theme to the expansion which i enjoyed i liked all the val Shara stuff and the expansion even came with a few really big surprises like a remastered karazhan dungeon holy crap the zones were interesting, the raids I thought were pretty cool, and being able to defeat Sargeras and see him finally be put to an end, I thought was great. The only downside of Legion is I really don't like how we got this whole artifact weapon system and it's being totally retired in the next expansion. I, The, the artifact weapons may have had their flaws, yes, I, I, I admit it, but I genuinely did like the artifact weapons and I think they could have expanded on the idea a lot more. So only really big downside of the next expansion in my opinion number two wrath of the lich king wrath of the lich king had the best theme of any of the expansions you had the frozen continent of north rend the dark spire of ice crown citadel the undead wandering across the tundras and the frozen hills and the mountains and stuff it's the freaking Lich King, baby. Like, it's a it's an expansion all around the Lich King. What more do you want? You have these massive, massive Warcraft 3 vibes going into Northrend and fighting the Lich King. And, oh, it was freaking awesome, man. The theme was great. I remember the day Wrath of the Lich King came out. I was so freaking pumped. I was so pumped. I remember I was in my math class that day in high school. And I remember we got a math test. And you know what? I failed that test. I went home, ran to GameStop with my sister. Well, I didn't run. She drove me. She drove me to GameStop. I got Wrath. I installed it. It was so freaking awesome playing the Death Knight for the first time. Oh, man. Like, oh, my gosh. If you weren't there. Like, it was, it was great. It was fantastic. I feel so sorry for anybody that didn't play Warcraft 3 before Wrath of the Lich King. It was a very good expansion, but it had one big problem when it came out, and it was it was the fact that it was kind of easy. It was one of the biggest complaints with Wrath. In fact, I remember a lot of people would call Wrath of the Lich King, Wrath of the Casual King. So a lot of my friends quit, but I gained a lot of new friends. I got into some new guilds. I did some hardcore raiding, and it was great. Like I, I had a great time. However, I do have one regret with Wrath of the Lich King. I never did Ice Crown Citadel. And I, I regret that to this day. I never got to raid it. And I wish I had, man. I wish I had. But Wrath, number two. But there's one expansion that beats it. Just one. And let's, uh, let's take a look. Number one, The Burning Crusade. Let me just say something that Wrath and BC really hold hands in my mind as to what is the best WoW expansion. Wrath and BC are really close. But I admit, if I flipped a coin and one side was Wrath and the other was BC... I would quietly hope in the back of my mind it would land on BC instead of Wrath. Now, why? Well, first and foremost, what is Burning Crusade? Burning Crusade really is just vanilla WoW in space, but polished. You have balanced druids running around. You have prot paladins tanking dungeons and stuff. All the specs are now viable. They're fun. And it's, it's just a polished vanilla WoW in space. And... I think that's pretty cool because I loved Classic WoW back in the day. One thing about Burning Crusade that I remember very vividly is you never knew what to expect with BC. This is one thing I don't see people talk about too much, but dude, when you walked into Outland for the first time, you didn't know what to expect. One second, you're in this red desert of Hellfire Peninsula. Next, you're in these giant spiky mountains. Next, you're in this like nether storm like purple area then there's nagrand which is beautiful and shadow moon valley this with fell volcanoes and stuff the two new races i felt were cool and interesting you had the blood elves who had survived the massacre of their people from warcraft 3 
You also have the Drain Eye, which I love the Drain Eye. And to this day, the Azurmist Isle music. If you've ever just sat back and listened to the Azurmist Isle music that plays on the islands, I love that. I think it's some of the best music in World of Warcraft. BC also introduced arenas into the game, which I thought were really cool, really fresh, and I thought they were a ton of fun. And of course, BC also introduced flying mounts. And let me tell you, flying mounts cost a lot of money back in the day. But when you got that thing, oh my God, when you got that 60% flight speed mount, oh, you had people flying around on nether drakes and stuff. It's so freaking cool, man. And of course, you had Karazhan. Now, I do admit there was one downside to Burning Crusade for me, and that was just the theme of the expansion, the whole out in space, outland sort of thing. You see, I'm more of like a traditional fantasy fan, so going out into outer space and seeing spaceships and whatnot, blah, 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 it's kind of not my thing entirely, but the lore of Draenor and everything, it, it just really sucked me in, and I loved it. So I'm going to give BC the number one spot. What about you? Like, what are your top five favorite WoW expansions? Do you agree with my list? Do you think I'm wrong? I mean, leave a comment below and share what you think, or better yet, make a video. Make a video. Just turn on your webcam and be like, hey, let me let me share my thoughts. But anyway, dudes, a big shout out to everybody that supports the channel over on Patreon. You guys are awesome. And a big shout out, especially to you guys that support me over on Twitch and watch me go fucking crazy every single day on that website. So more high energy streams are on the way. More videos are on the way, guys. Thank you for watching or listening. And I will see you all on my next exciting video. Okay? Okay. I guess I'll see ya.